Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, it's like time for bed and I'm shipping and I'm finishing up my last package and I get an offer. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, are you ready to see some big money bolos? Super excited about this video. Um, I wanted to come back with an update, but I didn't think it would be this soon. I think it's been two weeks since I dropped the Worth Point video. So I'm gonna show you how it's paid off. And if you guys decide after watching this video that you would like to try Worth Point, there is a referral link down in the description. You guys can click on that, head on over to Worth Point, and figure out which option is best for you. Again, I do go over all of the pricing at the end of the video, so wait for that so you can make an informed decision of what's gonna work best for you and your business. And there is also a free trial. All right, let's get started. And I'm like, I think I'll take that offer. Do you guys remember in my Worth Point video, just recently I was talking about this and I was telling you why I priced my item at the price I priced it at? This is a Katrin Mueller, and it's got the tag, Bear. Now, I'm going to show you the footage from the Worth Point video, and I did that, I don't know, was it last month that I posted that? It was pretty recent, but I was talking about this little bear. Super cool, super cool bear. Anyway, somebody just made me an offer for $175. I took that offer. Shortly after that, I had another offer come in from the same person for this little guy. It is the same artist. Super cute. Offer was for $75. So, I'm guessing that the person probably collects these bears. So, I messaged them and I'm like, I have one left. And I get another offer for this little guy, look how cute he is, for $75. So, in the Worth Point video, which again, I'm going to show you the footage, I talk to you guys about the big bear. But it also goes for these as well, you know, when I was doing my research. So, these all sold to one buyer, and that is great news. Now, in the footage, I'm gonna show you why, I'm gonna to explain to you how Worth Point helped me price these items. So super exciting week. Um, so excited that two items from the Worth Point video have already sold and I showed you why I listed them for more and how somebody else had sold this same bear for less. So stay tuned for that actual footage from my video like i'm not joking around you guys i'm super serious like this is a great investment for your business so check out that footage i go over the pricing at the end i'll put that footage in there also some of it if you already watched the worth point video is going to be a repeat but now you have proof that it works more proof because there was proof in the original video and i'm not going to put everything from the original video in this video so if you didn't watch the first video i'll try to remember to link it at the end all right you guys thank you so much for watching and here's that footage another hard to find item and i think worth point is great for hard to find items and we're going to talk about pricing here soon this is a Katrin Mueller mohair jointed bear and i picked these up at a um a thrift store actually. And I did pay up for them. I can't remember what I paid. I have had this one listed for a while. I think I got like eight of them and I think I've sold like five or six. And there were a couple different brands. So I have this priced at $219.99. I do have it priced high, you guys, but it is really, really cool. So Terra Peak is giving me one Katrin, Katrin I think is how you say it, Mueller mohair jointed bear and this one looks to be maybe the one i have it has the same name but i don't think it has the clothes and the condition does not look as good they sold it for 39 dollars. i'm guessing they did not have worth point because they undersold it let's look at worth point 
Okay. So here are some of the Katrin Mueller bears. And you can see 178 for this one, 173, 150, 131. Now, again, these are all older listings, but it still gives you an idea. This one's 2019. I think this one is smaller. They do vary in size, so you have to look that up. Um, I'm trying to find a more recent one here. These are really hard to find. Here is actually the one that I have listed, and someone sold it for $60. Again, I'm pricing mine high. I think they undersold it. That was in 2017. These items are retired. They are made by an artist, and this person may not have had worth point, or they just didn't know that some of them are going for $178, $173. You know what I mean? So when you're looking at worth point, you also, I always search high because I feel like those are the people that have researched it, have good keywords and know what they're doing. So if I go into this listing, you can see all of their description, which I think is really, really a great resource if you're researching the item. So um, I also like to look at high solds because I feel like those people have done their research and they know the market better. They have good keywords. So I am going to look at their keywords and build my title based on their title. Okay. So is worth point worth it? Now that is going to depend on your business model. But since the video just, I think two days ago, I sold the cookie cutter, <laughs> the Martha Stewart cookie cutter. And here, I'm gonna pop it up. I already shipped it, but I sold it for $125. And in the video, I talked about mine having condition issues and we looked at the different comps on Worth Point and determined the price and was it worth that price? And I decided to take the $125 offer. Could I have held out for more? I probably could have, but based on the condition, I decided I'm gonna take the 125. This item is a Martha Stewart cookie cutter, also an item that I listed on my live listing show. And it's like a working hangout, you guys. So I list, if you guys are new to eBay and want to learn how to list items, it's a great resource because I walk you through how I search comps and I also um, show you how I list items. So you can check that link out down in the description of the video. So you guys, this is a Martha Stewart by mail only copper cookie cutter. It's a snowman. And when I looked up comps on this, I was blown away. Now you can see mine does have some condition issues. I typically will use a tape measure just like this to let people know the measurements. And I try to include as many pictures as I, I can. Now this one or as needed. This one, this is your uh, symbol or your logo branding for the Martha Stewart. So definitely keep an eye out for that. These are hot. They are a big money bolo. Um, the snowman specifically, um, I also believe there is a candy cane. We're going to talk about that as well. So I have this listed at 160 or best offer. So when I look at Terra Peak, um, this is the only one that shows up and it is different, um, I do believe. Let me see. This one, it looks like sold for 10638. Let me open up the listing. This one is hollow. So it's got the candy cane and it has the um, snowman, but this one is hollow. The ones that are not hollow go for more, okay? So let's look at worth point. So I put in the same search. And here is the snowman and the candy cane. I believe maybe these came as a set because a lot of people have sold them together. This one in 2013 sold for $366. You can see this is in way better condition than mine. 355, 2013. Now here is a 2021, you guys, and it sold for 350, but it's got the original paperwork. They look to be in excellent condition. And again, it says private sale. So I'm not really sure what the private sale means. Let's go, um, let's try to find one like mine. Here is the same one that I have. This is from 2013. It looks like the one item sold for 330. Oh my goodness. So I am searching high to low. Um, so that could make a difference. Here's another one in 2021. It's got the original pamphlet and the cookie cutter looks to be in mint condition and it sold for 192.50.
let's go over to page two and just see if there are any more. Um, 2011. So I feel like I've got mine priced in a good spot. I'm going to leave it how it is. Here's one for $149.99 in uh, 2021. And, um, but this one has both. So I might be a little high, but I'm the only one listed. So I am thankful for Worth Point, okay? Because Terapeak wasn't giving me anything. I held off on Worth Point for a long time because I felt like it was really expensive. I did the trial and I just could not commit to the, the uh, how much it was. I'm like, no way. But the more I started thinking about it, and I talked to my husband, I'm like, I really think that we're going to make money by having this because we're going to know how to price our items. And we both decided that it was time that we got worth point. And this all started with that Boyd's car. So I'm so glad we did it. Now, here is the price guide. Let me zoom in here. This is the one I have. It's called Value It Price Guide Premium. The ultimate price guide with over 605 million prices, including details and images. So again, you guys, this is going to help you build titles. This is going to help you um, with descriptions. And this is going to help you value your item. Okay. So you can pay $23.99 a month. And if you just want, to, you can do the free trial first off, but then you can do $23.99 a month. That's great. If you're just unsure, try it for a couple months. If you're sure, that you want it, do the $199.99 for the year. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you're going to save $87.89 for the year. So instead of paying $23.99, you're only paying um, $16.67 a month. So that's a big savings over a year. So I'm cheap and I like to save money. So I did the $199.99 for the year. How you do it is completely up to you. Now, I don't really know what this research it is, but it says marks and library. So it says your identification and origin research guide, 100,000 plus identifiers and online books. So I'm guessing if you sell books, maybe you're going to want to upgrade to this level. I don't do a lot of books, um, but I know there's a lot of people that do. Marks, I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's like... Um, I, I don't know. So I'm just going to leave that there and you guys can read. I don't want to give you bad information. And the final is all access. So you get Worthopedia and Marks and Library. So you get both of these that I just talked about and both WorthPoint products combined, complete access for the best price. So it's $39.99 a month or $439 for the year. Um, if you do the $439.99, you're actually getting it for $36.67 a month. So you have to figure out what it, what's worth it for you. What point um, of your business are you at that it's going to be worth it for you? Do you want that first level, second level, or third level? I feel like since I don't do books, that the first level is perfect for me. $200 a year. Um, check with your CPA. I'm guessing that's a business expense because you're using it for your business. But check with your accountant on that. And save your receipts, you guys. Um, give it to your accountant. They should be able to advise you on whether or not you can write it off. Okay, this is for the Katrin Mueller uh, Bears. If I were to insure this through eBay, I have the option of this liability coverage right here, which is 540, or the USPS insurance, which is 640, bringing what I would have to pay. Let me try and go over here without showing the address to $14.93. So if I go through eBay, that is what I'm going to have to pay. Now I'm going to take you over to Pirate Ship and show you how to save some money. All right, I'm over here at Pirate Ship. So insurance is going to be $3.20 instead of what was it, five something. So my total is going to be $13.02. So it's $9.82 plus $3.20 insurance. So 1302 compared to 1493 on eBay. So is this a huge difference? Yeah, it's a couple bucks. 
and that's two dollars savings and if you do that over and over and over again it is definitely going to save you money i also do this with my first class packages and i'm going to pop up a screen share of a video that i have on just how to do that so check out that video be sure to check out the description of the video like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching